It's Christy and welcome back to the pop-up couch free advice Friday morning how are you guys today how was your week how are you feeling has anything good happened that you want to share because I'd love to hear about any progress you've made since the last time we spoke I'm curious to see how you're handling things now um, maybe you took a couple pointers from the last time we talked I don't know but hi Pablo nice to see you Pablo um, let me know how you're feeling though seriously what's going on is there anything I can help you with today I do have a few things I want to share with you as we always do right but still it's always nice to hear from directly from you guys what's going on because if there's something right now on the forefront that you want help with that's that's why I'm here and I'd love to help you with anything that I could okay so um, I just want to share with you my week's been nice everything's great here I really try hard to you know um, I try to do what I say I you know what I tell you guys is what I try to do in my life you know I mean every day is something well every day is beautiful but of course there's struggles that come about we all have things that you know um, we all have things that we deal with right and in, in relationships with work with our kids or what you know with our friends or whatever but it's important to for me anyway I try my hardest to stay as patient as possible now that's not always easy, I know. Patience is something you have to work at. It doesn't come natural for most people, but you know, I feel like the most the, the the best person I can be for my kids and my husband and my friends and my coworkers or whatever is to try to be a patient person. You know, try to like just if I get a little overwhelmed, just take a deep breath, maybe step away for a minute or just, you know, try to be patient with people. I, that's what I try to do anyway, you know. That's something I work at so I wanted to share that with you guys Pablo I'm doing wonderful thank you for asking how are you doing today I hope that um, you're feeling good and I miss seeing you Pablo and I know each other from uh, the salon that I work at and I miss seeing you Pablo so hopefully you're having a great day so I wanted to start with this today you guys um, rule number one in getting more control over your life don't we all want more control over our own lives we do because the truth is number one you can't control anyone else so don't try. Don't try to control anyone else, okay? Just try to be more control of your own life, your own decisions, and your own feelings. That's really the only control that we have. So being more conscious of that is important. So I'm going to share with you guys um, a couple things about getting in control of your life, right? So number one in getting control of your life, or at least getting better control of your life, I should say, would be start making decisions. Because the truth is, you guys, and this is an old saying, and maybe you can say like, oh my God, I've heard that a million times or whatever. But the truth is, this, there's some truth to this, right? If you, listen, if you don't make a decision in life, life will decide for you. Simple as that. So you can choose to sit here and go, you know what? I'm just not going to decide. I have no idea what I'm doing or where I'm going. or And I'm just, whatever, I'm just going to keep running with it. Well... Okay, you can do that, but the truth is, I think that it's always best to have some say in what's next in your life, don't you think? I mean, do yourself a favor and have some say in what the next 10 years or 20 years may look like, right? Well, I mean, that would be smart. And like I said, to get more control over your life, start making some decisions, even if it's some small decision, you guys. It doesn't have to be life-changing. But even just start small today. Make a decision about the future today. Somehow, some way. You know, open up a checking account, or I'm sorry, or a savings account, or you know, start start thinking about planting a garden outside in the in the spring, or you know, start putting some money away to buy a better car. Whatever. Okay, it could be anything. But decide to do something in the future today. Even though, like I said, the smallest decisions still count because it's something. You're you're actually gaining control over your life and your feelings and your and your decisions and that will help you feel more control over your life okay so it's very simple but a lot of people I know don't do it so that's why I'm sharing it with you um, I want to say this to oh, also back to the decision-making um, I heard this statement the other day by someone that they, they said uh, all I'm sorry all results are mothered and fathered by a decision which I thought was cool because it is true it's true so think about that um, also let's see Focus. Let's talk about focus again. Why are we talking about focus again? Well, because it really has a lot to do with where you're going and what you're doing and how you're feeling. So we're going to bring it up again. All right. Focus. Whatever you're focusing on, okay, massively affects how you feel. It really does, guys. 
So what have you been focusing on? How, you know, how are you going about your day and what are you focusing on? So I want you to think about what not to focus on. Okay, let's start with that. Number one, don't focus on what you can't control. Don't do that. Seriously, why do that? You, it's Again, you can't, remember what we said in the beginning of this video, you cannot control anyone. So don't try to. Don't focus on controlling anyone because you can't. So don't do that, all right? You can't control, I'm sorry, don't focus on your past either. I'm a big fan of this, guys, seriously. Unless there's something positive in your past that you want to continue to bring up and use to your advantage now, the present day, fine. But if you continue to bring up stuff from the past, Hi, Terry. If you continue to bring up stuff from the past, that is not going to do you any justice today. I know I'm talking about negative stuff from the past. Mistakes you've made, people you've hurt, lies you've told, whatever. You need to get out of there. Seriously, leave the past where it is and let's focus on where we are now, today. Okay? You cannot continue to focus on the past. Oh, I'm sorry you're only here for 10 minutes. I'll make it count. Um, also, number three, what not to focus on. Do not focus on what you don't have. Seriously, don't, sorry about that. Do not focus on what you don't have. Why would you do that when you have so much? Sorry about that. So, don't focus on what you don't have. Why? Because you already have so much. You really do. And if you think about it for a minute, how much do you have now that you probably didn't have 10 years ago? You probably have so much more now. Now, it may not be material things, okay? But you have more um, knowledge, right? More wisdom. You may have better friends now than you used to have, all right? You have different dreams than you used to have, okay? So it's important to remember that, number one, stop comparing yourself to others, all right? What they have or what they don't have. You know, I wish I had her hair and I wish I had his house. Why? 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 Why is that important to you? It's not important. All right, try to remember that it's important to think about, back to gratitude, guys. Be grateful for everything that you have right now. And another thing, let's start from the very beginning of your day. I mean, when you wake up in the morning and, and you put your feet on the floor to get out of bed, there you go. That's enough to be thankful. You don't need anything else. You have that. You started another day today. There's a million or so people that didn't have an opportunity to get up and put their feet on the floor this morning because they didn't wake up this morning. They didn't. You did. I did. We did. So now that we're up, let's do something with it. Okay? Because our job isn't done here. That's why we're still here. We all have something to do. So let's do it. Thank you, girl, for that. Okay, so again, what not to focus on. All those things, all right? Let's do that again. Um, no, don't focus on what you can't control. Don't focus on your past. And don't focus on what you don't have. That's it. Try, that, try to start there. No, I want to I wanna say this also about that. Um, no amount of antidepressants can make you feel happy long term if all you focus on is the negative. I don't care how many drugs you're taking. I don't care. It's not going to cure you if all you think about are negative things, even while you're on the drug. So really, it all comes back to what you're thinking about. What's in your mind? What are you telling yourself? And as soon as those negative thoughts start coming into your mind, like we said before, you know, I know there's all different thoughts. We all have them. You suck. You're stupid. You're never going to make it. You're never going to have it. You're never going to get there. You're blah, 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 blah. It's all wrong, number one, and it's not nice, and you don't have to listen to it. So just say no, 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 no. All that's wrong. No. Be more aware of the voices you're in your mind that are telling you things that are not true. Change your focus. Why do, I, why do I keep linking focus back to this? Because it really is true. Your thoughts are what you're focusing on, and what you're focusing on is either moving you forward or holding you back. Isn't it? So let's decide. Hi, Rose. Let's decide to move forward, okay, and stop focusing on all that stuff, that junk in our head. It doesn't mean anything. It's just fear. It's fear telling you. When you hear thoughts like, it's, you know, people are going to laugh at you and you're ugly and, and you're never going to get ahead in this world. All those thoughts are just, just your mind's way of scaring you. It's seriously like a scary movie that replays over and over. Bye, Terry. I love you. It's a, it's a scary movie that replays, right? 
You don't have to watch it and you don't have to listen to it. You can say no more. I'm not listening to this. I'm better than this. I'm doing things with my life. I'm happy. I'm proud of where I'm going. I don't live in the past. I'm not looking in that rearview mirror every day. I'm on a mission to do more about what I've been put here to do, whatever that is, guys. Show up every day, whatever you're doing, 100%. Do your best. That's it. And you don't have to worry about looking back because you're going to feel so good at the end of the day of what you did today, one day at a time. Uh, I want to say this too. It's not your circumstances in your life. It's how you handle them. I know people that are in really bad situations, okay? Seriously, I know you guys do too. It's not the, it's not the situations that you're in, okay? It's how you perceive them and what you do with it. You're going to sit around crying every day and depressed because, you know, you, you're hurt or you're, or you're, you know, maybe you're not as excuse me, maybe your kids aren't talking to you or, you know, maybe you got fired or whatever it is. I'm, I'm not, listen, I'm not downplaying any of those things. That stuff sucks when that stuff happens to you. But you have to think about it for a second. What did I have to do with all these things? You know, I mean, these, everyone has circumstances that show up in our lives, but how do you perceive them and what are you going to do about it? And how long are you going to keep beating the same thing to death? You know, the same situation, like, I got laid off three years ago. I'm still laid off. I'm still complaining. I'm still pissed off. I'm still... Really? Because you need to shut up. You really do. There's a million jobs out there for everyone. There's enough to go around, you guys. For people out there crying, there's enough to go around. There's enough of everything. There's enough abundance in this world for everybody to have at peace. All you have to do is show up for it and stop complaining about it. Easy. Um, why don't people want to be around you? I'm bringing this up. Because I know that, well, in my day, all right, um, I see some people, I'm not going to mention any names because a lot of them I don't know their names, they're strangers, okay, but I see a lot of people that um, they're, they're people I don't want to be around and, I, and I'm going I'm to give you a couple examples of why maybe somebody wouldn't want to be around someone. Uh, let me know if you know, well, you don't have to say anybody's name, but think about for a minute if this reminds you of someone in your life. Um, here's why people may not want to be around you. Maybe you're taking more from people than you're giving. This is true. And do you have a habit of complaining out loud? Hey, Rob, I'm, I'm bringing these things up because I know people like this. Okay. This is all they do is complain out loud constantly about what's wrong with them and what's wrong with others in their life and what's wrong with the world. Number one. And then, you know, Number two, they're really not showing up to help me or anyone else. They're just, you know, looking for what they can get out of every situation at hand. They show up to every situation in their life and they're looking for a handout. Like, what can I get out of this? What can I take from you or take from this? They're not showing up to give anything. Well, if you're wondering why people don't want to be around either you, I don't think it's you, or people, uh, you know, other people, that's because that's how they are. So, you know, Again, we're not here on this world, we're not here on this planet to change people. We're not here to um, control them, okay? But if people are sitting around wondering why that, you know, their life is not working out the way it should be or why they're not feeling as happy as they should, well, maybe they should think about those two things. You know, maybe you're just showing up for yourself constantly instead of showing up for others. It's something that you could change immediately. You could put that into effect right now, you know, so... Um, I want to, I want to mention something about this is, um, it's a metaphor. Okay. But when you hold an orange in your hand, okay. And you squeeze it really hard. What comes out of it? Orange juice, right? You squeeze it hard. Now, does it matter who squeezes it? If I squeeze it, if the police officer up the street squeezes it, if a teacher down the road squeezes it, my neighbor, my kids, whoever, if I hold that orange or whoever holds it and squeezes it, the same thing will come out every single time, no matter who's squeezing it, orange juice will come out. So I'm using this as a reference to, to you or to, uh, to me, to us. So pretty much it's the same thing. You know, when someone squeezes you, in other words, I'm going to say squeeze, but I'm going to mean something else. Like when someone pressures you or pushes you or pisses you off or, or anything, you know, what comes out of you? Well, what comes out is what's inside and what's inside you is what's always there. So, you know, if you're always a happy, go lucky, sweet, giving person, then most of the time that's what's going to come out. But if you're always pissed off and in a state of, you know, disarray and you just you're just not a good person or happy I shouldn't say good person you're maybe just not a, 
in a good place, then that's going to come out. So let's be aware of what's inside, guys, and work on it. Let's work on it. Let's work on it today. Start right now. It only takes a few minutes to just go, you know what? I'm going to let all that stuff go. I'm not going to let that stuff stay with me anymore. I can't carry this negativity around with me anymore. And I'm just going to let it go. And I'm just going to do my best to put good stuff inside. Okay? Here and here. Because when someone squeezes you, which they're going to, or they're going to push you, you want to make sure that what comes out is, is good stuff right? Not all this other nasty stuff that's been sitting around in your heart and your head for so many years. You don't want that to come out. Especially, God forbid, that would come out to someone who didn't even earn or deserve that kind of response. You know, I mean, that's not fair, is it? So, um, I want to mention this too, about your dreams and your aspirations, okay? All of your ideas and dreams will die if you don't act on them today. If you don't act on them as soon as possible. Let's face it, guys. Act on it now. Stop making excuses. It's going to be spring in a couple weeks, and, you know, why not get excited about the next thing in your life, the next chapter in your life, you know? That's something that you can get excited about, something that you feel happy about, that you can spend time doing or working at and talking about and sharing, you know, something fun. I just started a, um, a new job. I'm a server at a restaurant, okay? And I got to be honest, I haven't waited on tables in 20 years, but I love this job. I I'm so happy to show up at a job every day where I'm challenged, number one. I'm working with, you know, a lot of these servers are half my age, but that's okay. I don't care that they're half my age. I'm learning from them. I mean, it's it's amazing to, number one, to show up to a job where I can give, okay, as a server, I'm a giver, so I do enjoy waiting on people. I don't mind, it's humbling to me. I, I actually like to do that. Um, and also, you know, it's it's good practice, you know, public speaking and all those things. You know, I'm aspiring to be, hopefully someday, uh, I, I would love to be on a stage somewhere giving speeches to help people, you know, positive, you know, positive speeches or something like that, or just um, life, life coach stuff that I love all that stuff. So going up to strangers is, is fun for me. I like talking to people, you know, so no, I'm not going to, this is not my career waiting on tables, but I do enjoy it. And you know, I'm not sitting around. It's something I made a decision. I'm going to do something with the free time I have and, you know, make some extra money and, and go back to something that I used to like to do. There's, I, I'm going to tie something else into this now because I hear this a lot actually from people. You know, the age thing comes up. Well, you know, it must be nice, Christy, because I'm, I, I can't do that. I'm too old to do that. No, you're not. You're actually not too old to do anything. I heard somebody, t I heard a lady tell me this the other day at the restaurant. She was complaining that she's in her 60s and she hates her job, but she's too old to do anything else. That's nonsense. And it's not true, you guys. It's actually not true at all. That's, again, that's something you're telling yourself, and it's not true. You're not too old. You're not too old. You're wise. You're smart. You can do anything you want. Stop using that as an excuse. I hear that a lot. I do. And, again, I think that's just fear. Fear that someone's thinking, well, I, you know, that's an excuse. I, I'm just going to tell everybody I'm too old. Instead of saying, I'm afraid to try something new. I'm afraid to put myself out there. I'm afraid that people are going to think I'm stupid or dumb or... Well, it's not true, you guys, and you're never too old to do anything. That's the truth. Um, so and one more thing I want to mention to you, um, well, also with the old thing, you're never too old to be happy. You should be happy, right? I know a lot of old people that are so happy, and they're my favorite people. One more thing I want to leave you with before I go. Um, w this is something to think about, okay? When you're alone and you're miserable, Obviously, you're in bad company. So, that's the truth. Hi, David. My brother's on. Um, if you can't even be alone with yourself and be happy, I mean, seriously, put yourself in a quiet room for an hour, and if you're miserable there, like, how the heck are you, how, how are you going to be happy anywhere else in your day or in your life if you can't even be alone in a room by yourself and be happy? Well... It's time to do some thinking, guys. It's time to get, you know, get to a place where we like ourselves, number one. We accept ourselves, number two, for who we are today, right now. All right? Get out of the past. Start with today. What can I do today? To, what can I do to make myself feel happy today? What can I do to make others feel happy today? You know, um, 
what can I do to get some variety in my life? You know, maybe I need to go back to doing something that I, you know, used to do 10, 20 years ago. Like what I told you guys I do now. It's exciting to get back to some stuff that you used to do that used to make you happy. But the only way to do that is to take a few minutes a day and think about what you like to do. And also in the morning when you put your feet on the floor, be thankful and grateful that you have another day. Yes, thank you to my brother. Go out and meet people. Go out and meet new people as often as you can. You have another day today, guys. You got blessed with another day. That's that's not something to just sneeze at. All right? Um, it's not. We're here again today. And let's do the best we can to make the day as great as possible. And stop trying to control people because you can't. You can't control anyone, especially your kids and especially your spouse. Don't even try that. Let it go. They're not going to do what you want them to do. And that's why a lot of people spend, I know this for a fact, a lot of people spend more time at work or at the gym uh, or whatever because they don't want to come home. Why don't they want to come home? I'll tell you why. Because they can't control their kids and their spouse. And they want to and they can't. But why do you want to? Why don't you just let them be themselves? Allow them the freedom to be themselves and show up to them every day giving. Give to them. Give them compliments. Give them help. Give them advice. Give them a ride. Give them a hug. Give them something. If you're coming home, if you're afraid, or no, I shouldn't say afraid. If you would rather not go home every day, I can tell you that's why. Because you, you, you know, you, this, these people don't do what you want them to do all the time. Well, they're never going to. But you can't fix that. All you can do is fix how you show up to them every day. Just like how you show up to your job every day and how you show up to your friends every day. How are you showing up every day? I can give you this advice. Show up with a gift of some sort. Show up with a hug, a smile, a compliment, a handshake. It doesn't matter. Just show up giving more than you're taking, okay? I promise you that's the secret to life. I don't care what anybody else says. I know that for a fact. And it's very easy to do. You don't have to spend any money in this world. Actually, money means nothing in this world. At the end of the day, none of it means anything. You can't take it with you. It doesn't belong to you. Your house, your, your furniture, your car, all that money in the bank is nothing. It doesn't mean anything and you can't take it. So the sooner you learn that, the better. All you have is you and all you have is your thoughts and your heart and all you have for people to remember is how you made them feel while you were here on this planet. Because God forbid you leave tomorrow and you didn't say or do the things that you should have done. So you have a lot to give. You all do. Remember that. We all are here to give something. I know you guys have a lot to give. Make a quick call to someone that you haven't spoken to in a while. Just tell them that you were thinking about them, I'm sorry, about them and you wish them well. That's it. Just give a gift of love and, you know, just a sweet little message, a little hug here and there. That's all you do. All right? Do me a favor and pr do that for yourself. And it would be nice, you know, just listen to me today. Do that. I would love it if you guys would do that. I'm going to do that too. I'll do it today too. All right? Until next week, so nice seeing you guys. I love you so much. And thank you for all your responses. I really appreciate you watching me. And, and, um, and like I said, if you ever need any help with anything, it's my pleasure to just reach out to me. I'd love to help you with anything, okay? But I will see you next Friday, okay? Have a great day and a great weekend. Bye.